try to cook something that isn't sushi. For this, you need flour, two eggs, and bread crumb. I'll make a dish that is very popular in Japan. Fried horse mackerel and sardine. Big mackerels make for the best as you fry. A peculiarity of mackerels is that they have a line of hard and sharp scales near the tail on both sides. If you don't cut them off, they will sting you when eating the aji fry. Also, take off the dorsal fin with scissors. Scale the fish. Make sure you also take off the scales near the fins. Cut off the head and take out the organs. Take off the excess water. I will open the mackerel from the stomach, cutting it almost in two but leaving the two parts connected. Once you get to the spine, tilt your knife a little to cut past it. Make sure not to cut the skin. Once you cut up to the tail, flip the fish and cut the spine now. Cut off the belly bones. Take off the smaller bones using tweezers. On with the sardines. Scare them, then take off the head. Cut the stomach open and take out the organs. Put your left index on the back of the sardine to fill the knife and make sure you don't cut it in half. Cut off the spine the same way you cut the mackerel. Cut off the belly bones. Let's prepare for frying. Coat the mackerel with flour. Don't use too much. Then with the raw eggs, and finally with bread crumbs. To deep fry the fish, heat up the oil to 180 degrees.
gently put the mackerel in and fry it for about 1 minute per side. Such a nice color. Do the same for the iwashi. Sardines are smaller, so 30 seconds per side should be enough. If you fry them too much, they won't be as good, so it's better to take them out a bit earlier. Looks perfect. My wife didn't feel like being filmed today, so here I am. Mmm! Sorry, Kira. I love you, mm. but I'll eat it all myself. <laughs>